Yes, I've never known an atmosphere like it here at Lingfield. But, um, you know, most of the all-weather meetings, it's sparse crowds today. It's just a runaway success story. It really is. It's rammed here and a tremendous atmosphere. Litigant and Swing Alone, the last two to go in. Last two going in. They're all set for the 32 Red Casino Marathon and away they go. Duchess of Gaisley crossing in behind and so too was Castillo del Diablo from a wide out draw. In the yellow cap hunting ground is the first to go on with Arch Villain quick to go second. Mr Burbage round the inside then and these are followed on the outside by Blue Wave. Litigant is very handy in the blue and yellow jacket as they round the first turn at 36 miles an hour and inside the four but with well over a circuit to go hunting ground arch villain blue wave to the outside mr burbage in behind them then litigant villa royale towards the outside of runners then king's request just behind litigant up the inside in the noseband blue and yellow jacket is masterful act from duchess of gaisley and then the further back is our kid as they run into the left-hand home turn. Towards the rear at the moment, our communicator with Swing alone and Castillo del Diablo is at the back of the field. 48.41 seconds, slower split, but you'd expect that of a staying race as they run down the home straight. 48.41 for the first half mile and hunting ground leads to Arch Villain in second. Mr. Burbage is back in third on the inside. Blue Wave is fourth from Litigant, their masterful act. And they are tracked in the midfield by Villa Royale with King's Request. Then round the inside is Presburg, Duchess of Gaisley, R. Kid, Communicator, Swing Alone and Castillo del Diablo. They're racing towards the mile marker and therefore the halfway stage. And the pace fluctuating between 33 and 34 miles an hour as they swing this turn inside the mile now. And Hunting Ground and Joe Fanning has made all the running so far. Shadowed in second by Arch Villain. Uh, handy is Mr. Burbage on the inside of Blue Wave. Then Litigant has always been in the first five. George Baker there high in the saddle. The yellow cap worn by George. Villa Royale on the outside of King's Request. Arkid is out wide. Nosebanded Masterful Act up the inside. Then Duchess of Gaisley as they run towards the top turn inside the final three quarters of a mile towards the rear still swing alone and communicator and Castillo del Diablo making the top turn with about five furlongs left to travel in the 32 Red Casino Marathon. And it's hunting ground that leads the way from Arch Villain in second, heading now for the final half mile. Mr. Burbage on the inside of Litigant, who's always been very well positioned. Blue Wave is squeezed along to the outside. Villa Royale is behind these as they run down the side of the course. Mr. Burbage is looking for a bit of racing room. Duchess of Gaisley then swing alone, trying to make ground with King's request. They head to the the turn arch villain now takes over but litigant is looking a big danger in second place arch villain from litigant as they run into the turn and these two have kicked away they've kicked away from blue wave and mr burbage and then behind these running on duchess of gaisley and villa royale arch villain from litigant litigant must just apply himself here he's hanging a bit arch villain from litigant they're clear of villa royale communicator is finishing well with castillo del diablo litigant is now beginning to get to arch Archvillain and he's going to nail Archvillain. Litigant wins from Archvillain in second. Communicator and Castillo de del Diablo third and fourth running on from the back of the field. Then Villa Royale swing alone. Duchess of Gaisley Blue Wave Presburg. Mr Burbage well beaten. King's Request with hunting ground. Our kid and masterful act at the tail.